Cami has this remote and when you hit it, it's supposed to start the video. It ain't working and I don't know why. It's very annoying. Maybe it needs a new battery. I'll have to look when we get home. Okay, we're just going to turn it off. Bye, silly little thing. And Molly is going to say hi. Hi! And we're going to read you some nap stories today. Are you ready for nap stories? I hope so. All right, let's go. Where are we going? We're to the library, of course. Where else do you go for stories? Silly. What time is it? It's Duffy time. It is written by Audrey and Don Wood. I love Audrey and Don Wood's books, like Napping House and The Full Moon House and all those books. And it's published by the Blue Sky Press. And this is Duffy. Duffy dedicates this book to his veterinarian, Dr. Alan Nagakura. At least I think that's how you say it. Oh no! Duffy overslept. The air smells like breakfast. Do you love his blanket? I so love his blanket. Duffy races into the kitchen and asks for a bite to eat. Not yet, his mistress says. It's time to go out and go potty. So Duffy does. Waiting at the door in the warm sunshine makes Duffy sleepy, so he takes his before breakfast nap. See what time it is? It is 7.20. And there he is taking his before breakfast nap. Breakfast at last! Duffy gobbles, gobbles every bite. He even licks the floor to make sure he doesn't leave a crumb. Because his tummy feels round and full, Duffy knows it's time for his after breakfast nap. Wake up, Duffy! His mistress calls. We've got business to do. Where's your pirate hat? <gasps> Duffy has a pirate hat. The line at the bank is long, but at least Duffy gets a biscuit. He doesn't look very amused, does he? On the ride back, Duffy is exhausted. He curls up for his late morning nap. At what time? 11.45. And there he is, taking his late morning nap. It is good to be home. Duffy can't resist taking a quick midday nap in his comfy chair. The midday nap goes so well. What time is it? It's noon. That he's, Duffy sleeps right through into his early afternoon nap. A long nap makes for the best dreams. It is 2.30. Duffy, a voice calls. His best friend is home from school, and that means Duffy time. It's 3 o'clock. He wants to play longer, but his best friend has homework to do. Duffy helps. It is 3.45. And there they are. Something good is cooking in the kitchen. Duffy asks for a nibble, but his food isn't ready. So he takes his before dinner nap in a place where no one will forget to feed him. After dinner, the family goes for a walk in the park. It is 6.45. Duffy enjoys sniffing trees and saying hello to his friends. Oh no! Back at home, the master has stolen 
Duffy's comfy chair. How rude. But he squeezes in his early evening nap anyway. And it is 7.30. Time to get ready for bed, his best friend calls. Just for fun, they dress in matching pajamas. And it is 8 o'clock. I wonder if it's, a, oh, it is. It's a cuckoo clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. There's nothing better than having your best friend read you a good book at bedtime. Duffy snuggles down and sighs with pleasure. He doesn't feel sleepy at all. I wonder why he only slept all day. I really do love that blanket. Okay, I think we have time for just one more story. Are you ready? Do you want another story? Yeah? Cool. All right. Sleepy Places by Judy Hindley and illustrated by Tor Freeman. And it is published by Candlewick Press. And it says, kiss, kiss. Ready? When you're yawning and nodding and flopping and ready to fall in a heap, where do you choose for a nap or a snooze? Where is your favorite place to sleep? A rabbit sleeps tight in its burrow. A bird snuggles down in a tree. Do you know the worms are laughing at them? Ha ha! says. How rude. A frog takes a snooze in the ooze of a pond. A rose makes a bed for a bee. Do you suppose you could drowse in a rose or snooze in the ooze like a frog? Sorry, page is stuck. A cat can nap on somebody's hat. A bear curls up in a cave. A fish may dream in the reeds of a stream. A seal lolls about on a wave. Can you imagine what dreams you'd have lulling about on a wave? A swift can sleep on the wing of on the wing as it flies. A horse can sleep on the hoof. Bats hang upside down from their toes in rows upon rows in the roofs. I didn't know birds could sleep when they flew. Do you think it's really true? I don't know. I'm going to have to go look. If you were a bat, you'd sleep like that, upside down in the roof. A pup likes to sleep in a quivering heap with a bundle of sisters and brothers. Kangaroo joeys tuck themselves up in pockets attached to their mothers. But well, what about you? What place do you choose? What sleepy place for a nap or a snooze? A nest of cushions? A cave of quilts? A bundle of pillows? Maybe. A crib, a buggy, a hammock, a box, a sofa, a rug, a comfy lap so soft and snug. Honestly, I would take a lap. I like to snuggle up to my daddy. 
Or would you choose your own little bed with your own little blanket and pillow? And kisses and stories and teddies and things and somebody tucking you in. Oh yes, we each have a favorite sleepy spot. Good night. Good night. Good night. And that is the end. I will see you very soon. I will see you next Tuesday for a bedtime story. This week my theme was sleep, obviously. So I will see you again very soon. Bye.